Well, I've decided that I'm going to make the hummus, which I should have done yesterday when I made the um, coleslaw and the sweet potato wraps and things like that. So I should have made this really because it goes all together. Um, so I've got a tin of chickpeas. I've got the aqua, aquafabia, which is just really the water out of the chickpeas. Vegans, you can use that to make cream, which is really good. You just have to put some cream of tartar in it or some lemon juice. It takes a long time to do it, but it will go into cream for you. I've got some garlic and I've got a bit of ginger. I've also got some olive oil. Those are the ingredients that you'll need and you'll never have anything else. I've also got some lemon because I like lemon in mine. You can put chilli in, you can put anything you like in, you can make all different ones. I've made a chilli one, I've made the lemon one which I always make because I really like that. Um, oh you can put absolutely anything in, smoked paprika, you can change it and alter it any way you want, you can put bell peppers in it, you can absolutely anything. Um, it's very versatile and I, I absolutely love it. So there we go, So it's going to be very noisy. There's the chickpeas going to chop up a little bit of the garlic. Uh, no, it's not garlic, it's ginger. I don't know why I said garlic. Again, watch your fingers when you're doing this. I'm just taking the skin off. Um, and it's a little bit old, this uh, ginger, because I couldn't get hold of any more yesterday. The shop didn't have any. Um, and thank you to Susan, she took me around shopping um, and it's the first time I've been out in two weeks so and then I just slice it up and bob it in same with the garlic just put it in slices, bob it in um, salt and pepper we're going to use and chuck some salt in, quite a bit of salt actually because it needs it for flavouring a little bit of pepper Slight touch of aquafabia, nice glug of olive oil, which is really, really good for you. So, why as I'm doing this, so your chickpeas are really, really good. Um, they lower your blood sugar and they're really good for your heart and they're also good for inflammation and things like that. Um, your olive oil obviously is great for your brain, it's great for your hair, uh, your nails, everything like that. Um, I'm going to switch this on now when it's really, really noisy. So not enough aquafabia in it at the moment, but you've got to be careful you don't put too much in as well. Uh, so squeeze some lemon juice in it. Oh, that come down my arm instead of in the water into the thing. Um, I mean, your lemon's good again for your blood pressure. Um, it's good for your complexion, you know. Um, yeah. It helps with your iron absorption as well. Um, ginger's quite good for helping migraines and things like that. Um, Helps your immune system, your brain performance, all those sort of things. And I've squashed that to death, I think. And let's give it another little pulse. I'm just going to grab. Is it down a little bit? I mean, if you've got a neutral bullet, it'll most probably do it in one. but I also don't have it really, really smooth. Mm, that's really nice. I'm just going to put a little bit more water and I'm going to have a smooth one this time.
So I hope you enjoyed that. Also, I forgot to tell you about the olive oil because it's really good for your heart, your skin, your brain, and your chickpeas. Uh, they're great for your digestion. They help with your bone health, your inflammation. So they're all absolutely amazing. Okay, hope you're all keeping safe. Speak to you soon. Bye.